To the shame and the glory of the engineering profession the world over, this war is described as an engineer's war. To our shame, we engineers devote the years of peace to designing and planning for war. To our glory, we are the group which our country turns to in the time of war. A current saying in the aviation world is that you don't have to be crazy to be in the aircraft business, but it helps. Obviously, it does help. But it is a specific craziness that is meant, a craziness that accomplishes prodigious things, a craziness that will win the war. The challenge of winning the war is thrown directly to the Canadian engineer. It is our job and our duty, yet in it we can take exultant pleasure, for our goal extends beyond the war into the peace to follow. We are working not just for the satisfaction of winning the fight for our side, but for the glory of hastening peace to the world. <laughs>